there's a really, really important thing I want you guys to realize here. When we're looking at max and mins, right? Well, let's look at the tangent line. Let's start talking about the derivative. How does the derivative kind of relate to these graphs? Well, if we look at this max, we say that there's a horizontal tangent, right? So if this is g of x, we know that g prime of x is equal to 0, right? Here, g prime of x is equal to 0. Here, g prime of x is equal to 0, right? But here, we don't have a horizontal tangent, do we? Because remember, the derivative does not exist at a corner, at a cusp, right, or at a discontinuity. Correct? Yes? So I really want you guys to understand that while finding the derivative helps us identify max and min values, it only helps us provide potential x and y values. And we'll talk about this later, actually, after break. But I just want you guys to visualize, since we have this graph, this is still a relative min. But guess what? Algebraically, we can't find it by using the derivative. Would you guys agree with me? Right? So we just got to be careful. We want to rely on calculus to help us find you know, these extrema. But we got to understand that sometimes we're going to have extrema where it doesn't exist. Okay, where the least, I'm sorry, the derivative does not exist. All right, and that's just really important for us to kind of understand there. So just because the just because the derivative doesn't exist doesn't mean we don't have an extrema there. 